Even the very best consulting businesses get stuck sometimes, but it's typically in one of three places. Let's talk about it now. Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. This video is about the common bottlenecks found in even the best consulting firms. So let's walk through the bottlenecks first. There are three of them. So the first common bottleneck is that your target audience is too broad. You are a technology consultant. You are a marketing consultant. You are a strategy consulting firm. You are an HR consulting firm. And it's just, it's so hard to deal with all of the issues that are inside your expertise. It's hard to communicate those values specifically. So you're talking to too many different types of issues. Second is that your engagements are too custom. So you got all these different types of, of, of issues that you could solve for, and then you are offering very specific and custom solutions to each client. And so after you filled out 100 RFPs, you only get back two or three. It's just, it's hard to scale up that approach. It's just too custom. Third is that your load, your specific load as the leader, is too heavy. You are involved in every single part of a client's engagement and it weighs you down. And so you aren't able to think about how to really scale your company because you're involved with too much. So let's offer, let's think about a better model. So I've got a bit of a grid here. We've got client solutions. So let's assume that there are three core things you solve for. Solution one, solution two, solution three. Then let's look at the actual business model. What has to be done so that you can deliver on these things well? So there's three elements. There's lead generation, getting new leads in. There's the productized service, specifically how you solve the problem, that number of steps. And then third is recurring and referrals which generates the machine of your business. So let's kind of walk through this and how you might apply it. So first thing is you've got to be honest with yourself as a company is what do we do best? Not what can we do, not what we plan to do, not what you know we thought about doing, not even what we do well, but what we do best. The thing that we hear back from our clients that rings from our clients that is our very best thing. That becomes solution number one. We're only focused on solution number one right now, the very best thing that you do. So then you gotta kinda check off these boxes. Do we have a lead generation method specifically for that solution? Is there a way that we generate leads only for this thing? Let's assume that you do have that, you know how to get that done, so then that gets a check. So now is a productized service. Do we have a structured way of delivering this solution? Four finite steps, eight finite steps, 12 finite steps. Maybe it takes four weeks to do it. Maybe it takes 12 months to do it. Time doesn't matter, but you've got to have very articulate phases, steps, um, um, sections on how you deliver on that productized service. Now, this might be intuitive for you, you know how it works, but it's not written out in a plan. So you gotta plan out those steps. Let's say, let's say that you can do that. So then recurring and referrals. So once you've generated a very specific lead for a very specific productized service, then they'll be wowed by what you've solved because now you've solved the real problem. So what you can do for, for a recurring element is you can simply offer check-ins, check-ups, once a month, twice a month, once a week, whatever makes the most sense for your business. But now they can, they, they are, they got you on retainer to help them check up on that productized service because the truth is, Sometimes when you, when you deliver something for a client, over time, either their momentum fades or they just break it, <laughs> right? So, so you offer a recurring element, which is now recurring retainer income for your consulting firm, right? So, so, that, so that is the recurring element. Even if you don't have a recurring element, after you've wowed them with this productized service, you simply offer or, or ask for a referral because they're wowed, then they may very well suggest you on to someone else, which puts somebody new back in this lead generation. So if you can kind of picture that, very specific lead for a very specific service, and whether it's recurring or referral, 
there's a very natural flow of revenue that, that comes back, either either the retainer income that comes back or the or the through a referral referral income. So now you begin to see a month to month thing that that's that's hap that's happening here. So now honest assessment. Now so 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 we know we have a system in place for dealing with and delivering solution number one. So now we've got to make an honest assessment about about these other things that we can do. Now we understand that is there a second major high level thing that we offer? Is there a third major high level thing that we offer? And for the sake of speed, we'll just say that you you know you've got a lead generation. We have generating leads, but your productized service is not nearly as clear. You've done it too many different ways and that part is, isn't nearly as clear. And because you don't have that, then then you, you've got, you, you're having trouble generating r referrals and consistent income. Let's say with the third, you don't have a way of, gen of, of, of a systemized way of, of generating the leads, but you do have a way of solving for it in a productized way and you know that you can get referrals. You've actually gotten a few referrals, but they kind of trickle in. It's not, it's not a system. So what you've just done is you've just broken apart your business in such a way where you now aren't targeting everybody. They're very specific things that you solve for. Your engagements aren't so custom now. There's a productized way that you do it, and you may tweak it for one client or another, but the basic four steps, the basic eight steps, the basic 10 steps do not change. That's why they were a lead in the first place, because they needed those specific things to happen. And then third, now your load as the leader of the company is so much lighter and here's how. Because you can get someone in your company to specialize in lead generation. You don't have to do it now. There's a, there's a specific system you apply and you can delegate that to someone on your team. You can put someone over the productized service. Now you don't have to be involved with every client in every engagement in all of its depth because you've broken out the service in a certain number of steps. We just gotta make sure we hit the major milestones. And third, you don't have to be involved with all of the recurring services or, or, or all of the uh, referral generation because again, that's systemized. Once they're wild, you just ask them if they wanna take a next step. So now it lightens your load. You are now re-invited to be the strategic leader of your business because you're not involved in everything that goes on. This in fact, is a better model for your consulting company. Take a look at it, use it, apply it. Let me know, post a comment below if you enjoy the framework. Look forward to talking to you soon. It doesn't stand alone, it doesn't promote itself, it doesn't attract clients in some magical way. A real step-by-step -step content marketing funnel with your big idea, your transformational productized service that you bring to you because this is the improved model about how to follow up and close these high